Great. So the way you add videos to Facebook is that we'll get you added as a manager, but then you're just on your regular Facebook page. And if you go come over to the right, it'll show you your pages. So uh, click on Sensible Nutrition. Okay. And then when on the left hand side, uh, you'll come down where it says publishing tools. Okay. And once you click there, <laughs> there's several menus to get through. Kind of like the captioning. Yes, it's it's very similar to that, and you can you could get to it from the same place. So, okay. Um, then you want to go to the video library. Oh yes, yeah, so you already are a, ma a manager of the page, right? You can already get to the page. Yes. Yeah. I've done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Been Perfect. Here. So the video library takes you to the creator studio. If you go to the creator studio, it doesn't look like this. So I go to the video library and if you're gonna do video stuff. Okay. They make it kind of confusing. But here you will find anything that we've scheduled or published. If you have to go in and, and edit something, it's the, that's how you do it for the captions. And then if you wanna upload one, you just click this upload videos button in the corner. You can do more than one at once. So if there's three for the week that are done and you want to do them all at once, that's fine. Okay. And then we will just add one of these snack videos that we've already done. So the video screen, it, the edit screen is the same as when you do the captions, only you're going to be the one adding all this stuff. So you want to put in a title. So this one looks like it's about beans. So and the titles are what's in Asana. So you'll know like facts about them. I can, um, let's see, I'll probably add YouTube just because maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure yet. There's nothing much you have to do to add them to YouTube. And so I'll probably just continue doing that. But adding them to Facebook's really nice because there's a lot more functions here. Okay. Of the time. Um, Say again, I'm sorry. Of the tags. Well, just there's a lot more to add when you um, upload to Facebook than to YouTube. So gotcha. um, yeah. And then you'll, you'll name it whatever you're going to name. There's, that goes in the title and then you'll describe it. So here's where you can put, you know, what is the video about? If there's something, if we're talking about, you know, National Nutrition Month, and you that's relevant to it, put that in there, you know, just a short description, just a couple sentences. And then if it's a recipe video, we want to put on there where they can go get the recipe. So I usually make the website post first, and then I know that it's made. And um, so you just put the, do you know how the URL recipe? The URL recipe? Yeah. To, do you know how to find the URL of the recipe post that you made? for because we want it to the website right not youtube yes right um, right okay uh, yeah yeah just copy and paste that on the top or is that yes okay um we put it in the description so for the full recipe and it's always going to be uwylcmp.org oh gosh don't watch me type slash and then since we've just make them the, the regular posts they're not in their own category it's always going to be slash whatever the recipe is called so oh, cool. if this this will be pinto dash beans. Okay. If it was, oh, go ahead. Sorry, whenever I put them on the website, that's kind of also whenever I make sure that that's correct, right? For the website um, address. Yes. I upload them, just make yep. sure. Okay. But you're creating it and whatever title you give to the recipe, that is what's going to go into the URL. So if it's called like surprise lunch mm -hmm. sandwich, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be the word separated by a dash. Okay. Okay. And, and so whatever you've titled it, the the website will turn this and that's it'll add it to this URL. But it's just slash. Like you'll notice that if you go to the recipe section, it'll be slash recipe slash whatever. But or if it's like the healthy habits, it'll go to that page first. But the recipe posts are their own. They're just the regular blog post. And so there's not another page that they live on. So it, this is the, the URL right there. Okay, that makes sense. But you can copy and paste it too if you don't want to type it out. And if you haven't made the post yet, you can still, you can put not live links in a Facebook post and schedule it. 
-hmm. you just can't do that other places. And so I usually make the website post first. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So you'll write your description here, a couple sentences. And then for tags, I, they've actually added a lot more tags. I haven't done a lot of tags and I don't know that Facebook's really had, has a lot out there to say about it. Tags in the description too, we just haven't done that very much. So okay. I'm trying to use their feature and see how it works for us. Okay. So I always do Wyoming as one, it, it's not its own tag as you can see the university is so you, you you know this is all like what makes sense to you and what's related okay if educators in one of these cities I'll put that on there usually so this is of um, I think Cheryl's in this one so I just cast her you know okay um and then beans I'll see if there's one about beans okay there's a legumes and beans that's good um if this was a this had I don't know chocolate in it you could look up that Ooh. and I just try to find there's also especially for recipe videos there are just some generic oh my gosh I cannot type <laughs> recipe you know here's like leftovers it might be about that or a lot of our recipes are healthy ones or just regular or snacks or you know it, they've added a lot of these like just in the last couple months cool so kind of like Pinterest yeah yes if there's not one, you can always add your own. Okay. But you don't have to go totally crazy with the tags on Facebook. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure what they do yet. <laughs> yeah. Me neither, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's kind of new. So you can see here, you can choose the language, but I always choose it in the caption section. So it's up to you if you also want to add it here. I think it'll figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep going down the right hand side to add everything. So add everything you can see here and then make your way down. So the thumbnail, if it picks a good one, like that's a pretty decent one, go for it. Um, if it doesn't pick a good, like <laughs> don't pick that one. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't pick a good one from the video, um, I'll have one created anyway, because we need it for, YouTube doesn't always pick a good one either. So I'll always have a still image that uh, we can add to this. But like that one looks nice too. She's making little tacos, so that looks pretty good. So something that looks good, if it looks a little blurry because like the video is in motion, don't pick that one because that's what's going to show up. But if you need to add a custom one, just add image here and then it'll pull it from your, I don't know, is this, is this sharing my folder? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, I won't dwell on that, but it, if you add an image, it pops up your folder that where you can upload from. Gotcha. So that same cover image or that, that you post, I'll, I can use for the website as well. Yes. Okay. As the, you can use that as the feature photo on YouTube, on Facebook. Um, if like, sometimes one of these will pick a really nice looking one that I didn't grab and I'm like, Oh, that looks nice. So they don't all have to be the same, okay. but just so long that it looks nice and it represents what we're talking about. Okay. And then you'll come to captions. You know how to do that. Um, I have been letting them auto generate again lately. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Yeah. I'm gonna cancel it because I'm gonna cancel this anyway. Um, and I know I've noticed uh, reviewing some of the captions. I've done some that weren't on the bullet, but I also noticed like some for the interviews, like it, like I try to get the auto generated ones and it won't generate. Or like it says like this video oh. is the quality is too low to. Oh. I don't know. I've noticed. I don't know if you want me to, because I didn't. And then then I I don't know if go on YouTube and just copy those captions over. Cause that's what I've been doing and it's been so easy. Good, yeah, you can do that. I'll just do that. Um, if that's easier, whatever works for you is if there's so many workflows that however it makes sense to you and takes up the least amount of time and effort, I say go for it. Okay, okay sorry, I had to abandon shit. <laughs> One is black and salsa. So um, we'll write a description, find the recipe URL. Um, like when we put ampersands in it, I'm, I can't remember. I think it writes and, or it might just skip it in the URL. I can't remember. So in that case, just check out what the, the either copy and paste the, the slug on the website. If you go into the quick edit window, 
I don't, I can show you that too. I can show you that later. Okay. So we've got the thumbnail. If it's got the title on it, that's kind of nice. We'll let the captions run. Well, this one will have captions because it's a recipe video, but there you go. So you don't have to worry about the polls tracking or 360 director tools for this. So then we'll go over to publishing options number two, and then you can set the schedule. If you're, if for some reason you don't know when to schedule it, but we have videos available, you can just always save it as a draft. Well, that's nice. Yeah, so it's super nice. So we're gonna schedule it for later. So I remember to delete it and then set the time. And then uncheck allow embedding. I, we don't really care if people embed them, but, and they have our watermark on them. Oh yeah. But I don't like letting people embed it. Like I'd rather have them link to our stuff or ask us if they can, and then we'll let them. So okay. I take that off, but I leave it in the feed and watch. Okay. And then choose the playlist. So we've got healthy habits in the kitchen um, and recipes. Those are our major ones that me or educator is another one. We're almost through all of them. There's only about four or five left, but if it, or physical activities. So if it fits one of these, great. If we have some one-off, you don't have to choose a playlist for it. Okay. And we don't have any series available. And then this will show you all the other pages you're a manager of. So you don't have to worry about that because we're not cross posting. And then down here, it'll show you that it's uploading. If it's a longer video and your internet's being slow, it'll take a while. So when that gets to 100%, it'll let you upload. But you can always just click schedule when you're done. And as soon as it's done uploading, it will reload this page. Okay. So then you get a confirmation that it's scheduled and you'll see that it's now processing. And so you can, so you can add the captions right away if you're ready to, if you're not, you can always come back and add them, whatever works for you. But just before I give it a minute and before I leave this page, I just like to refresh it and make sure that it says scheduled. Okay. And if it's not yet, it'll, it'll just take it a minute. Okay. But just make sure it's green and it says scheduled. Gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna delete this because <laughs> we already posted it. So it's very similar to uh, any of the other things you do. It's just, you have to get into the right location to upload it. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. So I'll show you how to upload to YouTube. It's the very same. Um, I don't know why you couldn't do that if you're doing this, so. Okay, actually, if that helps you. Yeah, sure. I'm like, I just have to get you the video file and I haven't quite worked that out yet, so. Oh yeah. Um, but you, you, so you have to upload, um, you don't have to, but we upload them separately to YouTube and to Facebook. So they're, it's the same video file. It's just that we do it natively from YouTube. We don't, I mean, sorry, from Facebook, we don't use the YouTube link. So that's why you have to do it in two places. So if you do it in one, you can do it in the other. Okay, so when you sign in, I'll make you, I can make you a manager of this account. If you find your account at the very top, you'll wanna to go to switch account and uh, just let me know what email you wanna use. If you, I just use my personal uh, Google account because it's already, it already knows what YouTube is, it's already signed in. Um, if you wanna be a manager through your UW account, that's fine too, it doesn't matter. Okay. But here's where it shows you all of your accounts that you're the manager of and like what email address it's under. So like I'm just signed in as Sensible Nutrition. Actually, we'll probably just have you sign in as Sensible Nutrition. That makes That's sense. what I've done for the captioning. There you have it. Like yeah, that. I'm like, you can already get in there. I don't know why I'm complicating this. So <laughs> makes it, yeah. Just sign in, yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's the same thing if that you do with the captioning, you just go over to content. Actually, you don't have, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start over because then if people wanna fast forward to this part, they can. <laughs> so, all right, it doesn't matter where you're at, but you gotta be signed into your account. So I've been doing looking at captions this afternoon and that's on the brain. So you click create and upload videos, same as YouTube. Most stuff's in the upper right corner. I mean, same as Facebook, sorry. You select your files. We'll do another recipe video. And it's the same kind of thing. You need to put in a title. This one's chili bean dip. You put in a description. And then I don't usually link people back to the website in YouTube. We're not really using this as a social channel as much as like a clearinghouse. 
and this is the link to the website. So, cause you'll use, you use the YouTube link, not the Facebook link on the website. So I just put like the little tagline in here of what it's, what it's about, but I don't add anything else. And then the same thing with the thumbnail, the, it'll let you choose between three that it picks once it's uploaded, but you can also just click upload and it will let you pick one. And it can be the same one as Facebook. And we also have playlists here. So if it's a snack recipe, it goes there. Um, if it's an in the kitchen, there's also the, you can type and look too. There's also the um, healthy habits and then physical activities. So most of ours should live on a playlist somewhere. Okay. So this one's a snack recipe. And then, okay, I'm gonna give you a very brief <laughs> explanation of the COPPA law because it doesn't affect us in CNP as much. So there's a new uh, FCC law that it's trying to protect children's privacy. So whether they're in a video or whether they are going to be watching the video, YouTube and the FCC wanna protect kids under 13. So it's not, you know, like older teenagers in 4-H, it's, you know, not affecting them as much, but it's kids under 13. So if there's kids in the videos, you know, it wants to protect where they go, but it also, but mostly it's about gathering information. So on the viewers, so if there's a, you're supposed, you're supposed to be 13, have a YouTube account, anyway, right? So, you know, if people are signed in with a, and not on a, if they don't get like a YouTube kids account and they have a fake account, like we can't do anything about that. But if they don't want to let this go out onto YouTube kids, if it's not for kids, and that's, so it's to protect the kids from the content, it's to protect children that appear in videos, but it's also to, if someone, if a child is signed in as a user, it um, doesn't gather data on them. So you can't find their location or how often they watch it or that kind of thing. So it's just all about protecting kids under 13. Most of our videos, we're just gonna say, no, it's not made for kids. If it's something specifically directed to kids, we'll probably say yes. But even if we have kids in it, or we're talking to parents about like cooking with their kids or that kind of thing, we're still talking to the parents and we do want analytics on who's watching it because we don't expect the kids to watch the videos. We expect the adults to, and then cook with their kids. So most of the time it's no, if there's, if you just have a question about it, ask me. Okay. It's, it's really meant to protect the kids and not put a burden on the creators. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem in, in sensible nutrition. Most of the time it's gonna be no. And that's why we have it set for every video though, just so that we can, or we, you have to choose every video so we can make that choice. Is there any video that we have that is for kids and that we've said yes to? I don't remember if we've said yes to any. I actually used to put say yes on videos that had like Kaylee or Beth Woods kids in it or Abby sometimes. But, and I try to, you know, it's, it's to protect like their identity too. But the thing is, it's still a public video and it's there. We're not putting out a lot of information about the kids in the video and their parents have said, yes, it's okay that they're in this video. Mm -hmm. So it's still not more likely that like kids are going to watch it with these children in it with 4-H we've, ha we have made some for kids. Cause some are like, Hey guys, sign up for your fair and like, come learn about your animal and that kind of stuff. So like, if we do promotional stuff, we'll mark that. But again, that's tricky because we have kids from eight to 18 in 4-H. So are the eight-year-olds on YouTube? Probably not, you know? So it's, it just is complicated. Yeah. yeah. But like 98% of the time our stuff's gonna, we're just gonna say no. Okay. Okay. You can put an age restriction on here, which hopefully we would never do. So that came up with our meat fabrication videos where they were chopping up meat. <laughs> but oh. yes. You put a restriction on? We yeah. didn't, but somebody reported one of the videos. And so YouTube put a restriction on it. And we're like, no, 10-year-olds are watching this video. Like, it's okay. It's an animal. So, <laughs> yeah. Here. And it's only in an online course. Like, no one should stumble across it on YouTube. So, yeah. Um, okay, so you have, it'll make you click this. If you forget to, it will say, yep, you know, you've got to come choose this. Gotcha. 
So if you click next, it's gonna walk you through all the steps. You can also just skip right to visibility. Um, I don't know what this checks thing is, that's new. Like that's new from, okay, so it's letting you know there's no copyright issue, that's good. Um, but this is if we wanna add stuff at the end, which we haven't been doing. So apparently checks are okay. Like, I don't even think this was here yesterday, so okay. Wow. <laughs> um, but you wanna go to visibility. So if a video is private, only people who are signed into the Sensible Nutrition account can see it. So. Sometimes we'll put, well, we don't even usually use that. Like if I have a video for review, I'll mark it like that and then Kaylee can watch it, but it's restrictive unless you're signed in. So if it's unlisted, only people with the link can watch it. So like our makeup lessons for the online class, that's unlisted. So we still share it, but like you couldn't just search for it and find it. Our um, training videos are unlisted so that our educators can find it with the link. But if you just do a search on YouTube, it won't come up. Um, but, you know, our recipes that we're sharing on our website and Facebook are, of course, public. So just make sure you choose that because it does default to enlisted since we were keeping things pretty private before. And then if you leave it as public, you can just publish it right now or you can schedule it. So that's what I usually do because I just do batches of these things like I'll do the I'll schedule everything. And then you just want to choose whatever date it's going to go. You you can pick a time. I, I usually pick like eight o'clock in the morning of the day it's supposed to go live. That way it goes live on YouTube first, then it goes, then the website goes live, then the Facebook goes live because they're all like chained to each other. So if some, if the website posts live first and the video, YouTube video is not ready, it's gonna show that there's an error. Um, they could all be within like a minute of each other. It doesn't matter. They could be on different days. It doesn't matter, but I always set YouTube to go early in case there's an issue with it. And then you can just click schedule or publish. If you're just ready to publish it, go for it. And then this uploaded pretty fast because it was short, but it'll give you like a, a bar, a progress bar if it's not done yet. And then the link is right here. So if you're ready to make your page, you can just copy this video link and go right to the page or the website and make your post. But if you click close, you'll see that it pops up and here's where you can go back in and add captioning. And it's just the same as all the other videos. You could choose the thumbnail. Like these are a little grainy because they pulled it from the video and they're not super, that one's kind of cute, but like <laughs> they always seem to catch people in an odd expression. So and that's why I like to put the picture of it up there. Gotcha. And then if you thought, oh no, I was, I scheduled this, but I wanted to make it public right now. Just the, here's where you can come in and, and change that to publish. Gotcha, gotcha. So when you put one up to, post you'll put the day that you want it posted and then I can just stagger them from there from YouTube going first and then the website and then Facebook yes so oh. these times are a little arbitrary but YouTube I usually do set it for like 8 a.m you can see it automatically schedules it at midnight which is fine mm -hmm. um and then the website I usually have go at three o'clock because the posts go well now the posts are going to Facebook at 6 p.m so it just gives it a little bit of time. Like if at three o'clock, I think, oh, I didn't, you know, I don't know that the website posted. I, we have a chance to check before it goes live on Facebook and there's a problem. Gotcha. I don't always remember that, but if, you know, it still gives us an opportunity, but then it's also timing it a little bit so that it's not just available all day. But it, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like we don't care if people come find it on YouTube, although we'd rather that they came across our website because they heard about it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. And then I'm going to delete this before I forget. When you delete stuff from YouTube, it's gone forever. Like <laughs> if we post a second version of something, we just leave the old one on and you make it unlisted or private just cause that way it'll keep the analytics. So um, don't delete stuff on YouTube cause it goes away forever. Okay. All the, I mean, same with Facebook, all the analytics and stuff go away, but YouTube just warned you really strongly that it's forever. And then if you need to come back and like, oh no, I accidentally made this one unlisted, you know, you can, you can change it. Gotcha. And then let's see, actually, I think I already have it pulled up. I'll show you the website real quick. Um, 
So yeah, I know Kaylee went over it, but you can see we schedule most of these at three o'clock. Okay. Doesn't super matter. Um, but then if you just come here to quick edit, this is the slug. So this is what comes after uh, uwiocmp.org. Oops. It's just slash this whole thing. So if you want to type half of it or not, and you can type the other half or copy and paste or do whatever. Um, if you also, this one's scheduled. So we can preview it though. So if we preview it, you can see it's just a preview link. It's not the real thing because it's not posted yet. Gotcha. So make sure that you get the real URL. And if you're not, if you're scheduling it and you're not ready to post it yet, come get this uh, slug. Got but if it's going to be easier to just post it because you'll see like this one is published. So if we look at it, oops, I didn't mean to do that. You can see this is the real link. So if you need to publish it, grab the link unpublish it, you can do that too, whatever is easier for you. Okay. That makes sense. Do you have any questions? I know it's a lot of information. Um, I think, I think that's good. And if I do, then I can come back and watch the video. Yep. That yeah. So, good. okay. You already got access to YouTube. Let's, um, make sure you can get onto Facebook and I'm not, do you want me to try it right now on mine? Sure. I don't actually remember how to do it. Because if I can add cap report a little bit more. So here's where you can see what's due. And um, they're all different colors based on the type of activity they are. But like the next the next video that's going to go up is this picnic chicken. So when you click on it, okay, I'm filming this. Normally I'll look at the wrong one. Okay. okay. Uh, normally there's a task here that says video files to me. So I will uh Oh, and that's the wrong date. <laughs> Just finding all sorts of stuff. Okay. Um, great. So um, there's a, you'll see that I'll mark off the subtask that I have the video files. And, but once the video is edited, um, I'm trying to think of a way we can do this. It's, and I'm going to add you to, as a collaborator. Okay. Yeah. I wonder, yeah, if that'd be, because I'm, I'm going on to mine now to see if I have that. Um, calendar. Yeah. You know, because so I don't have the other one, or is it the same one? I don't. It's the same one, oh, but okay. like you're you're not named on this task, so you can look at it, but it won't like if you like looking at your stuff inside tasks. Like sometimes I like to look at the list, mm -hmm. and then I just sort by my stuff. So if your name's not assigned to it, then you're not gonna, and if you're not following it, then you're not gonna get updates. Gotcha. Okay. But I, so I added you to this one. I'll add you to this one too. Oops. And then when I am done editing the video, I'll just make a comment here that says, you know, video is ready okay. to be posted. And then I'll just put them in teams. Okay. Or well, okay. I can just come to Asana if that's easier for you. So you don't have to make more or whatever you think. Well, you need the actual video file and it's oh, large. Okay. So I'm thinking, well, do you, if Teams or Dropbox is better, which one is easier for you? Whatever is easiest for you. I can do both. I might put them in Dropbox. Okay. Because sometimes I think it's hard to find stuff, in, especially like files like that in Teams. Mm -hmm. Do you have access to the CMP Dropbox? I think, I believe so. I'm trying to get to it now. Um, yeah, because I know we, I know we did the recipe cards on that. Oh, okay. Because that's easier than sharing it and then you won't run out of space and it won't be this big. Yeah. I'm just going to call it social media, oh my gosh, videos. And then I'll just upload the videos here. And then let's see, this one's short. So I'll just, I can either message or put it on a song, like whatever workflow we work out, it doesn't matter to me. 
Um, but I'll just let you know when the video is edited and then, well, I can, I'll put it as a task on your, on a Teams. Is that okay. easier than For putting sure. it on a sauna? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. So I, it would be nice if you could, I don't need to actually upload this. It would be nice if you could mark it done when you're done with it. So I mark it done when it's posted to, there's a website post for it. It's on YouTube and it's on Facebook. Okay. So you just click mark complete when it's done. Okay. Yeah. So if you'll come in and do that, that would be great. But I'll, I can tell you on Teams that it's ready to be edited. Oh my gosh, we are doing this in like five places. And then it'll be in Dropbox. And then I can mark it complete on Teams as well. Yes. Okay. Okay, that sounds good, yeah. Do you use Asana? I would say use Teams more, but I can definitely, it's easy for me to go in Asana as well and click that, so. Cause if you, well, cause I mean, at least for the first few, like I'll go look and see that it's done and see if you had questions about anything. So I'll just make it an assignment on Teams since that's our normal workflow. Okay. And you don't have to worry about Asana. Okay, whatever is easiest and convenient for you, I can do both, so. That seems easier since that's our workflow for other stuff and then you only have to look at one place. Okay, that sounds good. You have to post it to all the places, but you only have to find the assignment in one place, that makes sense. Okay, that is nice, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, when you mark it done, I don't think it alerts me. I'm gonna pause this again.